everyone. Welcome to PHTV Channel 4 in Palos Heights. I'm Sue Jankowski and we are here with Sweets and Treats. And our good friend Diane Hello. from Diane's Place right. right on Harlem Avenue. Diane, right at the get-go, give the address. So 12306 South Harlem and it's right next door to the uh, firehouse. I mean, you can't miss it. And yep. you've probably been here many times. And uh, we have two. In fact, we're like on location, so it's kind of fun for we us are. to be inside Diane's place. And we're uh, we're actually kind of celebrating. We haven't done a show for a little while, so we're celebrating the new year. So yes. I don't know what we're drinking, Diane, right here, um, but to a better new year, a better a fun a happy, new year, <laughs> happy, healthy, fun new year. That's right. And this drink is really we're thinking about Valentine's Day too. Yes. That's and what the whole theme of this um, TV show today is about. You know, I like to think about Valentine's I love Valentine's Day. It's a great thing, you know, to celebrate in February. But I like to carry it over a little bit because mm -hmm. why not be sweet to everybody, you Absolutely. know, when you can and treat them to little things and make that That's special right. little drink. Yes. Speaking of special drinks, what, what's in a our sangria. drink today? So we have a cranberry sangria. A cranberry yes. sangria. So you can make that anytime you that's want. That's right. And it's got uh, some raspberries we in do. it. So yes. that's kind of fun. So anyway, so cheers, here's everyone. to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could drink oh, that anytime. Yes. <laughs> nice little we cocktail. But now, since we're celebrating uh, Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. um, Diane's going to make a few things uh, that you can easily make at home. It, totally agree. Yes, and that's what it's all about. It's teaching you how to make these things that you think are difficult, but they're not. So we are making homemade peanut butter cups. Um, look at that little treat. I mean, it is cute. And you know, um, when you look at the inside of a, of, because it does have the peanut butter in it there, does. like a traditional peanut yeah. butter cup. You, I just, this is a mystery to me. How do you get this in there? Well, we're gonna show you today. Okay, you're gonna so be yes. able to do this. Okay, Good. so here's what you need. It, it just makes life easier. But if you don't have it, then just use a regular plate when you put the, um, paper uh, cups on there. Okay. So we're going to use our normal little paper cups. Spread them all out on. And they're cute. They're pink. Yes. And mm -hmm. so if you don't have the smaller cups and you want to do the big um, cupcake holder ones, just go ahead and use, you know, did you ever see the giant yeah. peanut butter cup ones? Yes, I have. So, so you can make those too. Just put more in there. Absolutely. You can. Yeah. So yeah, that's a lot. This is a nice little uh, treat to give away to your family. It sure is. You know what? Friends. This is a great little treat for Valentine's Day to thank someone for shoveling all that snow that we had. Oh, and, yeah. You know? So true. Yes. Okay. So we have all our um, our tray. It's lined with the paper. Mm -hmm. um, we have a half a cup of peanut butter. We're going to mix it with a half a cup of um, powdered sugar, but mm -hmm. we need to heat up the peanut butter so it gets it a little bit thinner and loose and then okay. that's when we're going to mix in the um, pot of sugar. So we're going to take a break for one second, heat up the peanut butter and get it all situated. So. Okay, I'll be enjoying my drink while she yes, does right. <laughs> okay, Diane's heated this up a little bit and actually it's pretty It's like liquidy. liquidy. Yeah. All right, so to thicken it up, we're going to add our powder sugar. Okay. okay. So this is going to be the middle, the base of it. Of okay. I never thought about there being something in that peanut butter besides just peanut butter. Mm -hmm. But and they it must do that sweetness. in the uh, when they're making it out, you know, outside sure of do. personally making it. Uh, the yes. Reese's peanut butter cups or that kind of thing. All right. So now you can see it's all it's thickened up. Okay. Okay. So that is all done. So we have our chips. So if you don't have the chips, um, the little round pellets, you can do regular mini chocolate chips. You can. Um, okay. You can't. So you're going to heat up the um, the chips. And here's one uh, advice: even though there's little chunks in there, uh -huh. you don't want to heat it completely because you might burn it. You just keep on mixing it around and let that heat from all the other chocolate melt those little okay. pieces. And this is actually these chocolate melts, which I think you used to only be able to buy in the craft stores, but I think they sell them at grocery stores now, right? They do. They sell them all over. Yeah. So, so you can nice. just get that at your local grocery store, buy those melts, they're called. And actually, I think maybe, wouldn't they work a little bit better than chocolate chips sometimes as far as the stickiness of Well, quality? and um, for it to melt, it's a lot easier using those it is. than the chocolate chips. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we have our piping bag, and we're going to add the chocolate to the piping bag. This is just going to make it a lot easier um, to put it into those cups. 
You could spoon it in if you don't have a piping bag. Mm -hmm. And what's my my favorite thing if you don't have a piping bag? The you just take your Ziploc zip bag, bag and that's you right. put it in there. And actually, it does make things a little neater. Sometimes you try so hard to be cautious and careful putting something into it. still into goes a all over. It does. You know, it's just, it's tough. It is. All right. So let's get our chocolate in there. Okay. So one thing about these. These are homemade. There's no preserves in them. Okay. So if you're going to give them to someone, you always have to make sure that you tell them they have to eat them within a couple days because they will turn on you. Oh, they will. Okay. Yes. So, so do that. Squirt out the chocolate. Squirt a little chocolate in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. A little chunk in there. Are you going to do that now a bag of those melts would make maybe all of those it uh, would okay so you could make like a dozen of these i would think all right so let's put our peanut butter in the bag if you want to hold that so bag. It goes into a bag where do you get these bags at the grocery store too uh those are from like michael's or joanne fabrics okay okay so you're just going to hit down um, the pan so it spreads evenly on okay. there okay and we're going to put our peanut butter in now you could use however much peanut butter you want in the middle of it. Some people like a lot, some people do not. Um, I'm all about the peanut butter on those. Mm, nice and warm. <laughs> right? Yes. And I'm assuming there's a, this is a no bake, no anything Well, thing. it's just you're pretty done. much, yeah, it's the done. microwave. Yeah, yeah it's the it. microwave, you're done. Heating it up. All right. All right. Get it down. Ooh, that is even hot. It is. And these do not take long to set. So you have to make sure that you are quick when you are um, putting in the peanut butter so you can get the chocolate on top. Okay, so you put that in the middle, right in the middle. Not to the sides though, all right the way. In the I middle. know you can't see this, but she's just putting that right in the center. Well, not I can kind of show, I don't know if you could see it. What yeah, see it? not all the way to the edges. Right. Because it's going to spread though a little bit. And then we're going to push down the rest of our chocolate, fill it in. Wow. And again, once you hit the pan, so easy. you'll see how it spreads all over. Oh, that is so fun. Uh, this looks like something kids could do. They sure can. Yep. That's one of the um, items that we use when we do our, our kids class, teach kids how to make their own candies. Like cook, and there it is. Now, do you have to refrigerate this so it sets up? No, or? you could just let it sit probably about an hour, hour and a half. Now tell me how simple was that? I mean, and this is what it turns out yes. to be, and then you just peel this away, and right? It, yes. And there's your whole, your whole, yes. Just like, it's like the go. real deal. It is the real deal, and you made it. It is, that's that right. That is adorable. And on this one, you put a little uh, red heart. I did, so I took of some fun. of the um, chocolate, put it out on parchment paper, and drew out little hearts, oh. let it dry, so when it's time, you can go ahead you could you do that. On there. Well, yes. isn't that, that's a great idea. Yes. Or you could do uh, maybe some of those little uh, conversation hearts. Yes, or some sprinkles. Sprinkles. Any little kind yeah. of toppings some on there. Some fun thing. Okay. Yeah. So, that is beautiful. Now, tell me how easy that was, I right? mean, so easy. Yeah. I would actually never have thought, I thought you would have to like inject it somehow <laughs> to get that thing in the middle. No, nope, that's all how you, you do. do it. Easy. And it's easier in this pan, so you can kind of get all the bubbles out. And it spreads evenly. So, yeah, that's that is it. That's awesome. How? Well, what a great secret, right? Exactly. Now you have something else for us to make as well? Yes, so we are going to make these little candies. Some people call them like a, a, a nougat. Uh -huh. um, some people fudge. Kind of like a fudge. Right, okay. but we're just not using condensed milk, so. Okay, yeah. all right. So we'll take a break and we'll get that and then we'll right. talk about all the other items that we have. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so we are back after making that delicious treat that's so easy to do. And actually, yes. off camera, I did take a bite, and it was pretty scrumptious. And Isn't really, it? really good. Yeah, absolutely I mean, delicious. You'll enjoy making it, and you'll enjoy eating it. So are your neighbors or friends, too. Yes. Well, and if they don't want to make it, just come on over. We'll, we'll make it well, for them. Well, that's the other thing. We'll talk right? about that, too, uh, in just a little bit, because yes. we, we are going to uh, give you an opportunity to not make things as well. That's right. But in the meantime, we are making uh, what Diane kind of showed you uh, at the start of the show, and that is fudge slash divinity. We're not exactly sure what to call it, but it's, uh, it's, it's based on white chocolate, correct? It is based on white chocolate uh -huh. and the marshmallow, so and it gives okay. it that little fluffy taste. Okay, so tell us what you're doing now. Okay, so right now we are, um, we have a, do a double boiler, 
Um, you have to be very careful that you don't burn anything. And we're, I am putting in the butter to melt down the butter. Okay. And then we're going to put the chips in. Okay. Um, we're using white chocolate. Again, this time we're using um, the mini chocolate chips instead of the little um, pellets or what do we call them? Discs. The discs. Uh -huh. Yeah. Little discs. So we're using actually just white chocolate chips that you can get anywhere. That's right. <clears throat> All right, so why I am melting down this chocolate, mm -hmm. how about we talk about all the different um, desserts and treats that we have for sale now? Oh, sure. Yes. Well, I mean, you know, I, every time I look at these, I just think, this is just the cutest thing. Isn't what a great it? favor. Or like giving me a little dinner party or kids party or something, somebody's birthday. Actually, I actually have a granddaughter whose uh, birthday is close to Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And this looks like just a great little treat. Yeah, so something different. What else? So you also have these chocolate strawberries over we here. We do, the chocolate covered strawberries that we're having our special for Valentine's Day. And I mean, these look just beautiful. And they're like decorated too. Yes. So that's fun. We and how about these, Diane? Chocolate covered pretzels. Chocolate covered pretzels with white chocolate, and they look, uh, they've got the sprinkles on it for Valentine's Day. That's really cute, too. And then, of course, now way over here, we made the peanut butter cups, we're making the white uh, fudge, but what about these? Yes, yummy -looking? those are our homemade turtles. Um, I mean, we're known for those turtles. Beautiful. So really, you know, okay, you think, well, you know, I want to make the chocolate peanut butter cups, but maybe I'm not going to make all of these things, but I'd sure like to bring this, this array of things over to someone's house or give it to, as a gift to somebody. You know, if, even if someone is like um, home ill or, mm -hmm. or whatever, you know, they just sure. got a you know, bad cold or they're just recuperating from surgery or something, and they can have some little treats like that. You could come here. You sure can. And say... Right. Hey, I need this stuff. How, like, how, what kind of notice do you need for something like that? So things like this that we'll have pre-made, um, but if you have a larger order, we definitely want you to call um, for the chocolate covered strawberries. We're going to start taking orders for uh, strawberries, pretzels, and marshmallows. Okay. And turtles for Valentine's Day. Okay. But otherwise, we'll have some um, in stock. So yes. Okay. So you can call. I think it's always a good idea to call just to be sure that uh, Diane has exactly what you need and, and maybe you want it to be all red or all pink or maybe you want yes. it, you know, a whole different thing, blue or something, I don't right. know. But it's always good to like make a phone call to Diane. And while we're talking about the phone, Diane, why don't you give your phone sure. number? It's 708-923-0010. And if we're not here, um, go ahead and leave a message and we'll call you right back, so. Oh, perfect. Yes. Also, this is something yes. new uh, that I haven't seen here before. So talk about these a yes. little bit, Diane. All right, so these are our prepackaged uh, caramel and cheese popcorn. Um, uh -huh. So we have them individually with the cheese and the caramel or mm -hmm. the mixture now. And the mixture? Yes. So you can come in anytime. Anytime. And, uh, pick we, up a bag of this. Yes. And uh, bring it to, over to somebody or eat it yourself. Absolutely. Treat yourself. That's right. You're special. You can treat yourself. Yeah. So we will have those all out on the rack, um, which we have a table. We're ready for Valentine's Day. Good. You know, I want to talk about this too, because this is something uh, you can find probably right here in, in your location, uh, yes. Diane. Absolutely. And also, uh, didn't you say Bob's, uh, is it Bob's Car Wash? Am I saying it right? What? Uh, Mike from Mike. Payless Car Wash. Mike from Payless Car Wash. So here's, this is a little brochure. And in here, you're going to find some good deals, some coupons on some different things. Diane's being one of them. So you can get a percentage off of your order in here for, on food and ice cream. Uh, if it's over $10. Mm -hmm. And there's something here even for Joe Daniels, I see, yes. uh, in here. and um, Richard's Bikes. Richard's Bikes. And am I saying it right? Chulo Fit? Yes, exactly. Chulo Fit. Now, if you don't know where Chulo Fit is, because I think it's a little bit on the newer side, it's over on Ridgeland Avenue and about 135th, right by Zachary's, where I know you may have gone for dinner. And uh, so it's there's a subway over there. You you probably know the strip mall, mm -hmm. and uh, that is a great place that uh, Diane can speak highly of too. Yes, very uh, much so, so. This is this is really a nice thing that you can. Um, there's coupons for Payless Car Wash and uh, different things. You want to pick up this coupon yes. book and be able to use it. Absolutely. So um, the reason why we did this, it's all about trying to promote ourselves, but we want to work together as business owners, and um, it's you know the mom and pop stores and, and shops that we have to support right. to make it stay in your community. Right, and we always encourage everyone in our uh, viewing 
uh, area to, to go into your local stores and restaurants and car washes and fitness centers and use those facilities so we can keep them in our town. We love our city. We love the city of Pales Heights and all the surrounding areas too that uh, are viewing. Uh, audience go into your local uh, stores and really make it work for them start there first then if you can't find it you can you know spread out it, but absolutely. as far as like any kind of treats or 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 food because Diane right here is at Diane's place it's not just uh, candies and ice cream what no, else what else can there's we there's burgers here? chicken sandwiches um, your hot dogs your we have huge salads we're known for the salads so um, just because it says, you know, the ice cream burgers and sweets are so much more. It's, it, it's a large variety of everything here. Right. So, and that's what we were, you know, trying to promote even more is with the popcorn and, you know, different items. If you see something that you want us to make, just let us know and we'll, you know, specialize it in different colors or whatever you'd like. Whatever you want to yeah, do. absolutely. And this is a great place too to remember because it's not just, you know, kind of a drive through You can come in, sit down, enjoy your burger or your hot dog and, and just have a minute, especially if it's like a, a lunchtime thing or yes. a quick dinner that you yes. want to get. Yep. You actually have somewhere to come in and be comfortable and sit down. You so do. I think that's really important. Yeah, we people. have USB ports um, in the wall so you can plug in your phone if it needs to, the battery's running low, put in your computer and you know, do work from here, whatever you would like. We have a lot of um, Trinity College students that come and come and hang out here, which we love, and St. Al's kids, so that's what it's about. It's it a is. community store. Well, so. I want to remind our viewers, too, uh, I think one of the last times we got together uh, at Diane's place here, mm -hmm. we took a little walk down the hallway over there, and uh, right connected to Diane's uh, side door is a long hallway, and if you keep going west, there is a parking lot that's right behind there, and it's it's got lots of space. So if you think, oh, you know, there's very limited parking when you look at the front of Diane's place, that really isn't all the parking. There's lots of parking in the back. There there's is. lots of parking to the north of here. Uh, as a city, we have a lot of parking available. It just might not be in front of the store. I, I know uh, as time has gone on, we're mm -hmm. all used to parking like right in front of the store, and we walk right in. But I know times have changed, and it's a busier city now. That's a good thing. That's so right. just uh, head on over to the parking lot uh, that is right behind Diane's place. You cross over a street. It's not a real busy street. You'll right. be fine. And uh, then come on in here and enjoy yourself. That's right. So with um, Valentine's Day coming, we're doing our trivia night. Besides our treats and food and different things, we if anybody knows me, I love my events and my parties. You do. So we're going to have trivia night on the 13th of February. Oh, um, fun. What else are we going to do? Our St. Patrick's Day event this year on St. Patrick's Day with our um, Irish dancers from Lavin Cassidy. So we have a lot going on, so it's nice. Okay, St. Patrick's Day on March 17th. Yes, exactly. And then a trivia night on February 13th. February 13th, yes. Okay, all right. So, okay, yes. so keep those dates in mind. All right, so and, um, uh, as we're talking about that real quick, so uh -huh. our chocolate has melted. Okay. Um, we're going to put it back on and put the marshmallows in. All right. And start mixing everything together. So that looks like maybe, are you putting that all in, like about two cups? About two cups, yep. Okay, and then what about the... the the chocolate chip. So is that about a cup and a half? Or? That was one bag, so eight ounces. A whole bag. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're doing that. You're doing it over double boiler because it really can burn and you don't want that to happen. Absolutely. So, so you, you kind of take it off, stir it, you know, put it back on, heat it up. Okay. Keep on doing that. The marshmallows will take a little bit right now. Okay. So yes. It'll get nice and sticky. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. And that just keeps melting and... Um, it does. So as um, that is melting, mm -hmm. we need to put our parchment paper in and we have to use parchment paper for this. Oh, you do. Okay. Yes. Um, parchment paper is very difficult to work with, but once we get everything in there, we'll push it down. Um, even though the parchment paper, we're still going to spray it a little bit. Okay. It just helps it. Yes. You know, your handy dandy. Well, it is, you know, it is marshmallows and That's a lot right. of sticky stuff. So yes, yes you want to do that. And I think everybody just about has parchment paper at, at home. If you don't, it's a, it's really great. It is. For or wax paper. Wax paper could yeah. work too. Because we're not baking it, mm -hmm. so it's it definitely Okay. Will. And so once you put it in this pan, you're kind of done. Yes. So there are a couple other things that we're going to add. So on here, we put some spice drops in there just to oh, give yeah. it a little bit of color. Uh -huh. um, so we'll take a break, get the spice drops, cut them up, and then um, we'll show you what we need to do though. Okay. That sounds good. Put it in the pan. 
Okay, we've been, you know, stirring and getting this marshmallow and white chocolate nice That's and That's right. And gooey. So it's all melted. And it's oh, incorporated yeah. it together. Yes, it is melted together. All right. So while we were waiting, ooh, while we were waiting um, for this to incorporate and melt together, we have some spice drops. And this just adds a little color to it and a little texture, uh -huh. um, which we're going to throw in there once we put it into the, uh, into the pot. Oh, okay, you wait to do that. Okay. We're gonna give it a little bit. All right. down. So at this okay. point, we just made half of a batch mm -hmm. um, just for TV purposes. Okay. Oh. All right, so you push it down, hold your paper. As you can see, it's very easy to work with. Mm -hmm. um, smush down. Smush down, and then we're just going to push our Spice drops down. Again, you could put sprinkles on there. You could do whatever you would like to make it, give it some color, some more texture to it. So that's pretty much it. And why don't you show them? Oh, I will. A couple of the pieces. Okay, so this whole little plate's got all the little goodies on it that we've been kind of working on. So this is what this looks like afterwards. And actually, on some of these, you've sprinkled a little bit of um, sugar. You know, sugar. Um, pink sugar. That's right. So. And it looks it looks delicious. I'm gonna taste it. Absolutely. So it is to me almost just like a a fudge, mm. but with no condensed milk. So and you know those spice drops also give it you know, like a little bit of a, a sippy flavor. Yes, it does. That's delicious. All right. A little chewy. Mm -hmm. You're gonna love it. And if you don't want to make it at home, she'll make it for you. That's right. Delicious. <laughs> So then you cut it into bite-sized pieces or several bites. You do, and that's it. And again, this is a nice thing to keep for yourself or give um, giveaway. And actually, if you if you're someone who's like likes to have the St. Patrick's Day party or mm -hmm. something, use green spice drops. That's right, and, and maybe you can add a little mint to it. Um, you could. It that, you know, what if you put food flavor? coloring in this? Yes, you, you sure can. You could do that. Yeah, so you, you can, can just it. really green it up or blue it up or whatever kind of color you, you know you want to do you sure can you could we can make it look really springy you could do multiple color spice drops in there you mm -hmm. know make it kind of eastery something like that absolutely oh that's cool right all right but diane will do it for you diane will do all of this for you that's if, right if you want and if you need to know more information about how like the ingredients specifically diane should they just come in here and um they can come in here call me or we can um go ahead and Put an email out to them, um, put a flyer up at City Hall with the recipe. Okay, well that would be good because so, I yeah. mean, while it is really easy, sometimes when you're looking back and you're thinking, oh, wait a minute, did she use a cup and a half or two cups Correct. or whatever, it's kind of nice to be able to look back at that. Yeah, and you know, with all of our other shows, everything that we try to do, we try to make it easy and simple mm -hmm. that tastes great. Um, we don't want you stressing in the kitchen, um, you know, there's other things that you can do in life so make right. it easy for you yes i'm all about the easy recipes exactly and now you might have noticed that um diane's place has been closed for a little while winter break yes. and now it is opening back, back up it. again that's right so you can stop here um actually uh, is it on friday uh, on, on, well coming up coming up and yes. then um do we have uh, a day that you're not open like mondays for now we're going to be um, not open in mondays in february and march Okay. Then once the warmer weather hits, we'll be open seven days a week. Okay, so it's six days a week <clears throat> in the next few months, and uh, probably um, your hours would be 11 to... 11 to 9, and the weekends 11 to 10. Okay, so yeah. you've got lots of opportunities to come on in here. And if you want to quiz Diane about the recipes or ask her something about ordering something, you can come on in and do that. Get yes. yourself a burger and follow it up with a little ice cream Absolutely. Uh, splash. That's right. And remember, <laughs> our ice cream is gluten-free and it's trans fat free, so it's a lot better for you than the ice cream that you get in the freezer at one of the grocery stores. Okay. So yes. We'll come in and visit Diane. Thanks for watching us today. It's always fun to be here on Sweets and Treats. Uh, we'll see you next time when we'll be making something great. That's right. Thanks, Diane. Yes, cheers. Cheers to you too. Happy Valentine's yes, Day. Yes, thank you. You too.